The shoulder girdle is made up of two bones, the clavicle and the scapula. Let's go on to look at these bones in a little more detail. So as I just said, the clavicle is one of the bones of the shoulder girdle. This long bone articulates with the acromion of the scapula, forming the acromioclavicular joint, which you can now see highlighted in green. The acromioclavicular joint is also known simply as the AC joint. Now let's look at the scapula. This bone is a flat triangular bone, also known as the shoulder blade, and is located posterior to the rib cage. Let's talk about some key features of the scapula, starting with the acromion. If we change perspective so that we have a posterior view of the scapula and zoom in slightly, we can see how the acromion of the scapula articulates with the clavicle to form the acromioclavicular joint. Another feature of the scapula that we'll look at is the coracoid process. Let's see what this structure looks like on our anterior view of the skeleton. You can see that it's a hook-like bony projection and that it's situated superior to the glenoid cavity. The head of the humerus articulates with the glenoid cavity to form the shoulder joint. To see the last feature of the scapula that we're going to talk about, we need to flip our skeleton. The spine of the scapula is a protruding bony ridge on the posterior surface of the scapula that is easily palpable and separates the superior spinous fossa from the inferior spinous fossa. If you found this quick anatomy video helpful, you'll enjoy our video tutorials even more. Click on the button and you'll see what I mean. We have hundreds of videos available to our premium members, not to mention all the fun quizzes, related articles and atlas sections to solidify your knowledge. Click on the button in the middle to watch the full-length video and master anatomy.